for that introduction. And I also want to thank all of you for being here at this very important press conference. It is with the support of people like you that I am confident enough to make this statement. My name is Aretha Akile Kanyon and I am going to be your next District 7 City Councilwoman. This decision comes naturally following the dynamic local elections of 2017 where at just 20 years old, I ran for city council alongside my former running mate, Jesse Neville, on a platform of reparations to the black community as the starting point of a genuine progressive agenda. Despite reparations being regarded as fringe politic, our campaigns shook the grounds of St. Petersburg, Florida. We won hundreds of people in this city to the side of reparations to the black community and built a social movement to transform the way the city operates. This campaign made international news, garnered nationwide support, and was the first ever reparations electoral campaign this world has ever seen. Now, there are Democratic Party 2020 presidential hopefuls who have come out in support of what they consider reparations as a consequence of what we did two years ago. This is part of the basis for entering these elections right now. Reparations is a defining question throughout this country. We have the ability to make reparations real. We can make history by electing this country's first reparations candidates. Two years ago, our demand for reparations was introduced as a means to stop the genocidal gentrification of the black community. We went up against the big money back politicians, the crooks like the so-called progressive Rick Kreisman and the big developers in his pocket. Two years ago, we raised the question, will there be a black community in the next two years at the rate that this government, under Rick Kreisman, is gentrifying this community? And now, we're confronted with this, this government attempting to steal yet another historical community, African community, from more high rises and condos. That community is Jordan Park. That should answer your question. This is round two. This is our opportunity to successfully take back the black community and restore what has been robbed from it historically and presently. Like the gas plant district, where the Tropicana Field Baseball Stadium sits. We are demanding that that land be returned back to the black community as reparations to build affordable housing and economic development. We will implement a public policy of economic development versus the existing policy of police containment within the black community. We are fighting for black community control of the police, the right of the black community to hire, fire, train, and discipline the police in our community. Reparations will be made the center of this city's budget, creating a mass infusion of capital in the black community for new and existing black businesses. We are going to fight for the residents of Jordan Park and demand hands off of this land that Elder Jordan got for this black community. We are going to fight to end this anti-black, undemocratic, rigged election system of a primary and general election so that more black workers can run for office on a platform that speaks to our interests without yeah. fear yes. of our vote being vetoed by the overwhelming white population. Yeah. With these plans, we can expect gentrification to come to a screeching halt in this city and, more, and, more, and the increase of a black population. We will have a bustling black community with vibrant culture, food, music, art, political life, and more once the resources freeze, up out, freeze us up to build this community. For those who are not familiar with the history or these previous campaigns, I want to remind you all of who I am and what makes me qualified to be your city councilwoman. I was born and raised here in this city. Some of the parts I grew up in have been completely changed through gentrification, yeah. police containment, and the theft of economic development. I have been actively fighting for this community since I graduated high school, joining the Uhuru movement at 18 years old, leading a national campaign for justice for three teenage black girls drowned by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department, running for office at 20 years old, editing, editing the Uhuru movement's national newspaper, The Burning Spear, Ooh. and sitting on the National Central Committee of the African People's Socialist Party as its youngest All member. Right. All right. I'm highly qualified in the area of social justice and reparations, 
having received direct leadership from a St. Pete African community hero, Chairman Amalia Shatella. Yes. It's time to face the reality that is St. Pete. Not this painting of progress for all represented in the ever-expanding downtown. It is a nightmare, a city divided, and the black community is under assault. This is why we have to run. I say we, because it's not just me fighting for this future. It's all of us. It has to be you. We have to be bold in our demand, uncompromising when we say, yes. make the South Side black again. Yes, sir. It's one we should all be able to say, because it starts right here. It starts by ending the oppression of the black community, creating the conditions for a prosperous city, no one living at the expense of anybody else. I look forward to embarking on this journey with all who support my community and our right to economic development. Support the vision of the future with the black community in it. My name is Aretha Akile Canyon, and with your support, we can end gentrification, we can make the South Side black again, and we can create a genuinely progressive city. August 27th is the primary. Vote Aretha Akile Canyon for District 7. Uhura! Woo!